Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing a pale draconian conjurer of Hepliopolcana. Uh, we just finished up layer four, and I guess a fair chunk of dungeon as well. Fanar was in Elf, I don't or in, in uh, Orc, I don't think we tracked him down, right? Uh, no, wrong button, here we go. Yeah, Fanar's still in Orc, okay. Um, and there's that layer thing in, uh, layer, uh ant thing in layer two. Are we in the middle of anything important? Items, nothing notable. Spells? Right. Fulminant Prism sort of turned out to be a bit of a dud, really, I think. It's c created more danger than it's saved me from, I think, most of the time. I don't know. It's been alright, but I certainly have used it in situations where it was not a great play. Uh, and we have Conjure Flame, that's the that's the thing to remember. And Blink recently as well. Okay, uh, so let's head then... We're not out of Sarah, right? Okay. Let's head then down to Lair... Oh yeah, it has Idealize. It's like not that great. Let, let's head then down to Lair 5, and I guess we'll grab some bread on the way in. Oh, what are my resists like? I have a Ring of Ice. Hmm. It's probably better than a Ring of Flight against a Spiny Frog. Or against uh, a, a rhyme drake. Okay, but I don't want to keep that on indefinitely. Like there's plenty of things that would take advantage of my of a decreased fire resistance uh, amount. Hmm. Long corridor here. Uh, so I don't know. This is what like episode six or something. I'm not really counting. I know I've released just two episodes. I have a third one scheduled, but there's several recorded that aren't up yet, so I don't know. Anyway, uh, you guys probably know better than I do uh, what I have decided to do about how often to publish these. <laughs> but uh, I'm looking at, like, I think, like, oops, well, yeah, let's fight this plant, I guess. Looking at, like, um, three-ish episodes a week seems like about where I landed on that. Uh, is there anything I should do about a Hydra here, exactly? I think a four-headed hydra I can just like breathe steam on and forget about it. He was not very impressed by the steam. Any cool spells? I don't know, we could blow him up a little. But let's dazzle him. Alright. So four-headed hydra is not so big a deal anymore. That's good to know. At least not alone and when we are in uh good shape already. If we had, say, been uh, tired out a bit by fighting a bunch of blink frogs, you could imagine that a hydro would be a bit more of an issue. Uh, I'm sort of waiting for a chance to use my breath attack here. International, you are having a rough day, huh? Uh, let's just swap her with this blink frog to get her away from the hydra so she'll actually survive. Great, good work, kid. Um, and like breathe on the Hydra a bit. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. Did we need to use the piety there? Unclear. Uh, it it made sure that the international didn't die anyway. Um, and I'm not sure how important that ended up being, but I don't mind. Geez, there's a lot of hydras in here today, huh? Uh, okay, well, let's breathe steam on him. I don't know, now he's standing in steam. He can't be very happy about that. And can we, like, dazzle him without hitting international? Looks like we can, actually. Okay, great. It makes me laugh. I, I was writing on Reddit the other day. Maybe it was before the last video, I don't remember. Someone had, like... Oh, that's right, Tedra and I posted a thing about, like, here's how to fight Hydras, and it was, like, it was good advice. Oh, any little faith? Sure, I guess. That'll let me idealize more frequently, I suppose. Uh, it was good advice. I approved of pretty much all of it, um, although it was a tiles gif, and so, like, I couldn't tell exactly what was happening at all times, but uh, it looked like he was doing good stuff. Anyway, 
there were some posts like, oh, just switch to a short blade or a mace. So, you know, use an untrained... Uh, if you're like a troll with claws, you can use a giant spiked club with uh, zero training in it. And, like, that's pretty good. This was not the advice Ted and I gave. It was some commenters in Reddit. And anyway, I, I had some things to say about that. Um, if it were a good weapon, you would use it against every monster, not just a Hydra. You shouldn't use a bad weapon against the most dangerous threats you'll encounter, blah blah blah, you should just run away from Hydras. All this, like, reasonable advice. But, you know, here I am, like, I'm a conjurer just tabbing Hydras because I that's the way my life turned out, you know? Um, I know that in principle... Uh, Hydras can be dangerous, and you should be careful with them, but also that this character right now is just fine against Hydras. We have carefully... Okay, that's an eight-headed Hydra, more of a big deal. Um, she's slow and confused. Let's just idealize her now. That ought to help. Anyway, we have we have carefully tested our boundaries and discovered in what situations we are capable of coping with Hydras, I think. Uh, this is one in which I am not so sure, and therefore I am running away. I shouldn't have let it get so close to me, in fact. I was sort of... there's a lot of stuff in here. International seems to like mostly have it under control, but... Um, actually, here's an idea. Get out of here. <laughs> Good work, International. Uh, now we're out of uh, Hydra range. It's amazing, right? Like, what an incredible tool Hepliocalcana has given us for uh, dealing not only with Hydras when we want to kill them, but Hydras when we just want to survive. Um, anyway, so that was that was a careless Hydra encounter, for sure. Have we already been... Oh, it's empty down here. All right. Um... And and I was saying we had we had carefully sort of gradually increased the difficulty level of our Hydra encounters, so that we could f assess how good how how uh, well we can handle them without putting ourselves in too much danger, and found that in most situations we can handle Hydras reasonably okay with no particular use of resources. Uh, there we were. It was a particularly strong Hydra. We were in a bad tactical position, and we had already been a bit tired by fighting other monsters, so that was really not a situation in which it was okay to tab a Hydra. Again, you know, it might have turned out okay. Most things usually turn out okay. <laughs> That's nice. Let's drop that Ring of Ice then, I guess. Uh, I mean, maybe I'll want to get it back if I ever pick up, like, a uh, Bolt of Cold or something, which is in a book somewhere, but... Um... Ooh! Didn't mean to go all the way up there. So anyway, it's just... Hydras are scary, and you often may end up with a character who can, like, handle Hydras just fine. Um, but always stay alert to when things are going particularly badly and be prepared to escalate. Um, right, that's, that's what Crawl is all about, is recognizing danger levels in situations. Well, that's one of the two things it's about, right? The other is, you know applying your tactical skill to solve situations, but you, you can't do that all the time. You need a break. Um, and so a big part of the skill tends to be not in managing the character's resources, but in managing your own, the player's resources, in terms of attention and, uh, and focus and so on by noticing when things have gone bad. Or rather, when they may soon go bad which is actually sort of the same thing, but with a bit more of a future-looking focus, you know. When, I, when an eight-headed Hydra is bearing down on me and I'm at like 70 hit points, I, I'm not dying yet, but things have clearly already gone bad. Get out of there, International. I just don't want you, like, meleeing that guy. You're not exactly the, uh... Alright, well, we'll just idealize her. Hopefully that'll help. Good. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, when there's a when there's a hydra bearing down on me and I'm at like three quarters health, uh, things are already going badly. I don't have to wait until I'm almost dead to realize it, and um, and that's a big uh, 
big part of the skill in Crawl, is recognizing those situations uh, early. I really don't... Well, good work, International. I didn't realize the Basilisk was confused, and it seems to have drowned itself, so thanks for that. All right, but let's rest up. International is wounded there. Uh, long sword, we don't really care about. So this, this is uh, one of the end vault areas. I don't remember if this is one of the ones that um, is a two-parter or not. Um, but there's just like some more dragons around the corner and then we're basically done. A lot of rhyme drakes. You guys remember when they used to be um, fire drakes, I guess is what they were? You can't eat rhyme... Oh yeah, we picked it up. Okay. Um, it's kind of interesting how Crawl has decided that it wants to distance itself from the sort of standard... Oh, this is bad. <sighs> the standard fantasy monsters and like... Okay, yeah, we still have fire dragons, but where possible, it's trying to create at least originally named monsters, if nothing else. Uh, you know, I, I haven't heard of Rhyme Drakes anywhere else. Uh, but, but okay, so we're now in, like, I, I press Z here because I was planning to blink, but uh, I should really consider whether there's something better to do. In particular, we're standing in poison gas without poison resistance, and there's a fire dragon and a swamp dragon uh, who could do quite a bit of damage. So let's, um, let's think through this a bit. Could just teleport. Um, neither of these dragons detects invisible, so we could use a potion of invisibility. I went and looked, by the way, uh, and yeah, the lightning rod doesn't start recharging until you have completely emptied it. That's dumb! That's my opinion. I think it should be changed, um, but I haven't gotten around to doing that, so... Uh, I, I don't see how that makes any sense at all. Uh, and I forgot, we have these cool evocables. So that's something to think about, is what what could we evoke at this guy? These guys. Well, confusion is actually, like, pretty okay uh, in terms of its likeliness to work. But we're already standing in poison gas. We can't confuse poison gas. So I think that I will start with a blink. That's about as good as I could have asked for, really. Um, and I could teleport away. But I'd rather not. <laughs> okay, he's confused. Great. Now let's grab a box of beasts sort of thing. And uh, can I manage to hit just the enemies? Yeah, I can. That's a spot where it won't hit my allies. Yeah, we hit the plant. Um... I would like to use my wand or my lightning rod, but I can't really do so very effectively. Uh, let's idealize International so that she can um, more effectively confuse... This fire dragon is like the last remaining threat. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I did not... I mean, it's in red! So I should really have believed it would do a lot of damage, but I didn't. Um, it's catching its breath, but we're not really doing anything to it at the moment. Eventually, it'll start hitting us again, and that'll hurt. So I think we should just leave. Um, I don't know. We've spent some resources already on this, and in a way, it's like in a pretty okay spot in that the Swamp Dragon is confused. If we leave, we're giving up the... if we leave by, like, teleporting is what I was considering. We're giving up on the the thing from the Box of Beasts and our idealize and the confusion of the Swamp Dragon. But on the other hand, we probably won't encounter these two monsters at the same time when we come back, um, which will be a big help. I think that we should just sort of uh, play it safe-ish and uh, teleport away. Um, because the next fire breath could really hurt quite a lot. Um, 
I mean, I don't have any way to stop it from doing that once it's um, cooled off. Hmm. What about a wand of scatter shot? Or if we paralyzed it, it would just instantly die. But that's sort of like a dice roll. 32% is not good enough to really uh, risk things on, I think. The lightning rod? Do these? They don't resist lightning, do they? No. Uh, so that's a thing we could consider, I suppose. Try to empty the lightning rod into it before we go. Hmm. I feel like this is just too greedy. I should just teleport away. We can come back later and try the lightning rod. I'll blink away from this again. Yeah, see, we didn't we didn't want to stay here. Oh, we made it to some stairs. That's quite handy. Okay, well... Uh, definitely some ways in which that was not well done. Um, let's go grab, like, this staircase or something. Oops. Black Mamba. Uh, rested twice accidentally there. Oh well. Not a big deal. Okay, so now... Mm, dream sheep, huh? Let's try to isolate them if we can. Uh, yeah, this is a lot of sheeps. Okay, uh, so I wanted to get out of all these guys surrounding me. And now we need to, like, do some damage to these guys. You know, I really should um, use up my lightning rod on something productive. And this seems as good as anything, really. Since apparently we have to use it up to charge it. Oh, V. I pressed V, like lowercase v, evoke same thing, as if it were um, the old lightning rod where you have to evoke it. You have to wield it to evoke it. Uh, did it again. Well, we can get them both that way, I guess. Okay, well, now it should start recharging. That's that's good. Boy, there's, like, a lot of enemies, uh, considering we cleared this floor. All right, let's take this one Dream Sheep upstairs. No sense fighting multiple of them while there are multiple... Multiple monsters while there are multiple Dream Sheep nearby. Uh, that really can turn bad in a, in a jiffy. I turned, uh, by the way, I turned the mic up again uh, before this recording. Listen to it. It sounded okay. I don't think it's introducing any terrible artifacts, and uh, it is easier to hear me, so I hope that's working out okay. Again, you know, let me know if it sounds awful, but uh, I'm, I'm a week or two ahead in terms of what... Uh, like, I've recorded stuff that is not yet uploaded and won't be for a while, so if you comment now, I won't hear about it for a while, probably. But, you know, better better soon than never. Better late than never, I guess? At any rate, it would be better for me to hear about it than to never hear about it. There's a lot of jellies. There must be a way to slime in here? I haven't seen it yet, but it must be around. No way all these jellies and oozes are... Yeah, there it is. Right? Yeah, slime. Okay, well, International will walk into slime walls if we don't uh, try to stop her. She really doesn't even try to avoid them. Uh, we should rest upstairs. Wait, was there a crocodile upstairs as well? Yeah, look at that. Okay, so what is this fault about? I haven't seen this before. Seems like there were just some dream sheep chilling out here. I don't know why. Uh, I don't exactly have a plan yet for when we encounter the fire dragon again. More of the same, I suppose. Um, except not in such a tactically bad position with all the shallow water. Um, and the other dragon. Okay, so what are we doing with this Hydra? Let's just dazzle him. 
That'll get International interested. And blink. Yeah, sucker. Why does it... Like, does this stuff... I don't know. Because you can do this near other allies and it doesn't hurt them, can't you? Maybe you can't, and I'm just confused because I usually cast it with Battlesphere. I don't know. Fine, I won't cast that. See if I care. Blink. <laughs> can I do that? I just can't be very happy with us. All right, a little bit frivolous use of our magical powers, but uh, it should be fine. Boy, there must be a lot of monsters, or maybe a lot of fog downstairs uh, here on this floor. Resting is going super slowly, which means the game is working on animating some other stuff. Uh, I don't really want any of that. Not animating, necessarily, uh, but um, processing stuff in between turns and, like, what tends to do that is fog, is, is like clouds, or maybe just a lot of monsters, but uh, there shouldn't really be that many left, honestly. Okay, yeah, some yaks, fine, but... Boy, this would be a great place to have, like, any reasonable AoE spells. 14 yaks! Really? That is a lot of yaks. Uh, so we are not, I guess even if we could stair dance, which we can't, uh, we would, we would choose not to there. That's way too many monsters to just dive back down into. Eight-headed Hydra, huh? Where? There it is. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, that was that was a pretty bad bad hit there. International is destroyed. Uh let's just use a wand of I was gonna say scatter shot. But we have a lot of lightning, I think. Let's just use that. It should well it might miss, which I'm not very happy with. There I think we get it to double bounce if we shoot it like this. No? Huh. All right, but there we will, right? Yeah. All right, well, that's the thing about Hydras. They're high variance, and uh, we tabbed them, rolled low, um, and had to back off and spend some resources. Not great, um, but not really. Kill the International, huh? Good rolls, buddy. Not the worst thing that's ever happened. Uh, we'll, we'll just wait for International to come back. Down we go. Okay. And try to figure out, like, how to approach all these yaks. Um, we're sort of luring them into a blender right here, but they're going to get through International eventually. We're wearing an Amulet of Faith, and so we could idealize her, but I don't think it really is at all necessary. It doesn't cost anything to have her die and then uh, just wait for her to come back. It costs a little food. You know, who cares, right? Wait, I thought we, um... We got her back, but she didn't follow us down the stairs. I was like, where did she go? A hellhound. Okay, well this must be an end vault. That you, don't, you don't get hellhounds normally. I assume this is the, like, uh, yaks, or er, dogs and bears ending? Yeah. I wouldn't expect to see yaks come from this, so they must have just like randomly placed in there, which was interesting. Okay, well, we'll just, um, we'll let this plant serve as a, a distraction for the, a, a barrier to the other animals there. Man, it's kind of a mess in here. Um, International is not having a good time either. Let's idealize her. No. You know what might be even better is to transfer her for this hellhound. Um, that gets her a little out of danger and gets me out of danger. 
and now we can sort of go back to a bit of tabbing. We're already making a lot of noise here, so I wonder if we just put a prism like right here, it should do something good, right? Yeah. Alright. I thought most of the monsters in the area had heard about us, but apparently that was not the case, and now they have. Well, that did not go as uh, well as it could have. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we maybe need to just teleport away. Uh, <laughs> there's just a lot of monsters bearing down on us. We're low on health. International is about to die. We could idealize her, but she won't really last much longer. She has no tactical sense, and so she's waiting out into the middle of all the monsters. Uh, yeah, we've got plenty of teleport. Let's just use one. Could try to kill a hellhound on the way out. Okay, that's good enough. And we'll rest here, get international back. Um, I'm starting to think maybe we should just like not do this lair floor. We've done a lot of the hard stuff already, I guess. Um, I don't know. I think I, I think it must be right to leave, and I'm just sticking around because of greed. Um, so, I don't mind, like, stair dancing a bit, but, uh, I don't think I should be necessarily heading into the most dangerous areas, uh, in the end vaults there. Like, these yaks are basically just free-ish experience, and I'm happy to stair dance them. Um, but I don't know that we necessarily want to go looking for trouble, uh, in the end vaults. If I can lure some stuff out and handle it safely, maybe I will, but I shouldn't wait in like I was doing. Um, just let myself get sort of cornered in here last time was the problem, I think. Plus, of course, they're just sort of uh, a lot of high-powered monsters, and uh, you should sort of expect to have some trouble fighting them all, um, even if you do so with a bit more good sense than I did. Right, like, I don't run around this corner, wait here, where International won't, like, make as many poor tactical decisions. Let them come to you one at a time. And they're no trouble. Uh, now we are a bit in the thick of it. Uh, I can't get all of these right. Yeah, just two of them miscast anyway. Alright, let's back up and take some rest. Get some rest, I suppose, is the word. Uh, how are we for time, anyway? Yeah, we can... Obviously, we. I'm not going to cut it off right now, that would be silly, but um, I think when we're done with Lair will be a fine time. Uh, what exactly can I drop here? Do I have any spells I don't want anymore? Magic Dart isn't great, but I'm still using it some, like, for distraction purposes, or getting monsters' attention. Oh, we can identify something. That'll help. Let's identify... Uh, a scroll. Magic Mapping. Okay, well, whatever. Doesn't seem that exciting. It's Rupert! I am not at all happy with that. Being this close to Rupert is uh, is awful. So first thing, let's annotate this floor. Don't go back. I am ready to leave now, I think. The loot that you get for the Zen Vaults is just not like so staggeringly amazing that I want to continue risking my life over and over. We can come back for it later. Yeah, none of it really stands out. The boots would be nice. Um, but nothing is worth fighting Rupert, who's going to just paralyze us and let us get mauled by a bunch of bears. Uh, if we had a bunch more magic resistance, he would still be quite frightening. Wait, does he not berserk himself anymore? No, he does. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just leave again. This lair floor has cost us three skulls to teleport. Well, he's berserk. At least he won't paralyze us. Whew, we didn't get very far with that. What is with all the shouting? Oh, that's just... Uh, Rupert raging, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's just let's just leave. 
And head back to the dungeon, I guess. And so, I don't know. Maybe we'll go try Lair. Uh, mm, Orc, now that we have Resist Cold. Maybe I should go back for that Ring of Ice that I left in Lair, and we could have two pips to fight Fanar with, but I think one should be plenty. Uh, and that's that's enough of Lair. We'll, I guess we'll leave a note... Um, ruined boots. There we go. Maybe that'll help me remember. Any annotations I should have been looking at before? <laughs> um, nah, nothing much. Why is Rupert n uh, not in red and the ruined boots are in red? Weird. Okay. Uh, so that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.